Greetings, my friends. The What It Takes Radio Company presents Seeking My E. Stanley Jones Experience. And uh, here's the story. Thank you for your interest in the E. Stanley Jones Project, but we have to make a change in plans. Greetings, friends. My name is Stan Houston, and I've been in touch with a number of you for uh, the past few months about a project that we are attempting to put in place called the E. Stanley Jones uh, Experience, a podcast ministry project. Now, what we were trying to do and what we had planned to do and what we hoped to do was begin toward the uh, end of September, 1st of October, with your help and the help of others, uh, perhaps a weekly podcast about E. Stanley Jones, the man, his mission, and his message, and feature many of the things that uh, would be helpful and useful to people today, and particularly in a way that we could introduce him and his work to many more people around the world who had not heard of him, and particularly since it's been about 50 years since his passing, to a whole new generation or two of people who would find him to be, just as you and I have found him, uh, a source of guidance, godliness, and goodness, and uh, self-surrender and true success in our life. Well, that was our plan. And we pressed on with that. However, we have discovered that we're perhaps going to have to do what we sometimes call in the business a plot twist. Our plans were not going to work out just as we hoped due to a variety of things, including some of the resources and realities that we were seeking to do. We are going back and we are going to hopefully put together a new plan and a new project, and this will have a different emphasis to it, and it will also be very much hopefully centered on a way of reaching many of the people in India who have great memories and good thoughts, yet again, that was 50 years ago, and perhaps we can reintroduce E. Stanley Jones as kind of an encore to the people of India. Well, those are plans and purposes and hopes that are in the making, and we'd appreciate your hopes, thoughts, and prayers. And uh, as we've always said, we would welcome any of your, uh, not only encouragements, but admonitions or uh, critiques or suggestions as to how we might do this. So that is the story, and now you know. However, one of the first things we did is uh, we did do a podcast interview with Roberto Escamilla. Oh, that name is familiar to many of you. Obviously, one of the uh, original, uh, the four of E. Stanley Jones. And he is still bright and bold and going. And so we were able to put together a, a 25 minute uh, program in which he told his story. And I was deeply moved by it. So uh, at the bottom of this little letter that you're getting will be a link. And uh, if you click that link, you will be uh, directed to the uh, audio podcast of Roberto. And I hope that you will listen to it, certainly uh, share it with others, uh, give him a word of encouragement as uh, he is very much with us in this whole idea, this whole project. So once again, thank you for your time and thank you for all of the help that you have given. We ask that you will pray us through this uh, uh, little bit of a perplexing time and so that we will have real clarity as to what we should do next. All the best and blessings to you. Till next time, hopefully. Bye for now. Please reach out to us. I'm Stan Houston. StanHouston at gmail.com, witradio.net, 520-664-7002, USA.